Okay, this video is just to explain the rest of my blog. Okay, last week Andrew came in to see me. When he lifted his arm up, he had pain in the neck and also his neck compensated. Okay, he came back to see me this week. He's been practicing now. He was made aware that when he did that, his neck used to compensate. He doesn't do it anymore, but he still has pain and discomfort and clunking. Is a clunk, yeah? something is unstable in a shoulder. So uh, I had a look at the shape of his scapula. So if you look at Yanni's scapula, the border is pointing towards me, it's upwardly rotated. This scapula is actually very neutral. Okay? So if I show you on a skeleton, this is perfectly neutral. Okay? If the skeleton had upwardly rotated scapula, they would be like that. If they were downwardly rotated, they would be like that. So if you look further into the video series on the blog, you'll see that on Andrew, his left scapula is downwardly rotated. It points like this. His right scapula is the same as Yanni's. It's upwardly rotated. So every time he lifts his left arm up, his upper traps, his lower traps, right, which are responsible for upward rotation, are in a stretched position. So his shoulder blade is not here, it's there. It has to get to neutral first. He starts to do this and it's not even in neutral. So his upper trap and his lower trap have to work so hard. By the time he gets here, he's starting to compensate. Okay, so from scapular mechanics, you know but if someone is downwardly rotated, they've probably got a dominant levator scapula and rhomboids and weak upper traps and lower traps. So what do we do? We regressed Andrew, took gravity out of the equation. He ended up doing an exercise over a table. So we reproduced the movement without compensation. And we let the brain figure out which muscles need to fire and get stronger. And hopefully over time, I will show you uh, when Andrew comes back to see me, we should see this scapula go from downward rotation to neutral. Okay. And the last thing, uh, a lot of times we blame the traps. We say, oh, you're very tight here, you need to stretch. Not always. A lot of people are in a downward rotation syndrome. They've been taught to pull their shoulders back and down. It's not a good idea. The traps become weak and long. And if you lift your arm over your head, you're a yogi or an athlete, and you've got a downwardly rotated scapula, you're going to have compensation and pain.